It's Chinese New Year again on Draw Stuff Real Easy and today I'm going to show you how to draw a chow dog which is uh, kind of one of those Chinese breeds and it is in fact 2018 as I'm drawing this which means it's the year of the dog so that's why I'm choosing a dog. You may have seen that I already did uh, the, the, the Chinese crested dog as well. So here we are, we're doing this great big kind of round head and then the body's going to come up sort of like that and then the back legs are going to come down a bit like that and we're going to want paws at the bottom and then kind of the tail coming around there we're going to want ears up on the top of that kind of circle there I'm drawing very very gently so I can erase all these pencil lines later if you press too hard you just won't be able to do that so now I'm putting a little kind of cross there and I'm going to put the nose kind of round about there. And then we've got to build, sort of coming out to each side, this is the, the snout of the mouth, uh, the nose rather, and then the mouth is going to kind of be down below here. This comes up quite close up to the nose like that. And that'll be kind of coming around there. We'll want a tongue. And then we want these kind of eyebrows, is, I think is what they sort of are, sort of coming out from there. And then that's going to be coming down there at an angle like that. And then we're also going to have another one sort of coming down there like that. And then the eyeball is going to be kind of hidden in there somewhere. And we're going to want that, this mane all coming down there. Right. Okay, let's see what happens when we ink this in. And I'm going to start right up at the top. And I'm just going to draw these two little kind of triangles for the ears. And I'm just going to kind of put the inside of the ears in like that. And then we're going to draw this furry, furry out. Because they are extremely furry, furry dogs. And we're going to work this outline with these little furry furry lines like that and then then all these marks are really quite furry again so you can kind of jiggle 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 around <laughs> like that okay that's coming around the snout now we're going to put the nose in here you can do this very simply because the draw stuff really easy so we're just going to do an oval with a little bit of white left in it there and then here we're gonna we want this kind of scratchy line coming down like that and again we want another one sort of coming down in between and then draw two eyeballs almost shade it all in leave a little bit of white there so that's going to be quite dark above we're going to want a little line underneath for kind of the eyelid um, and again now here we're doing the the mouth like that and we're going to draw a tongue because they always seem to have their tongues hanging out and we'll put a few little kind of dots in around there for the on the bristles on the snout and we can shade the mouth in very dark like that and then the mouth the kind of the bottom chin as it were and that will be the lips and then really we just want some kind of radiating out lines like that and i think we need like a beard first coming around here like that and then i think we can have a bit more coming down to the chest there um, again we can do quite sort of scratchy kind of lines down to the paws one two three and it's going to come and then a bit like the chinese crested dog i did last week this is just very furry and i want to see some little toes there as well now i would sort of start with the tail here as well next so this is going to come up in a great big curl like that and then it's going to kind of curl around like that 
and then we can have the back in there and we can keep this very very furry like that and then bring the furry line down to the back paws which again are going to come into this little furry hairy hairy back leg part there and I think we're going to see something very kind of similar here so this is kind of echoing what's going on there and then we're going to want to have something very similar coming down there like that so when you are sure that the ink is dry, then, because you didn't press too hard, you can erase all those pencil lines. Now, we can put shading in here, and I think we can do shading in kind of with the fur. So this is quite dark, and then we'll make the fur go a little bit further away like that. Um, so it gets a bit not quite so dark. And here again, this is going to be really quite dark underneath here this is the back leg sort of hidden in there and then we can maybe put some dots in there and then and then we just sort of keep kind of working with the direction of the fur really I think we want a little bit more in there and then kind of coming around Like that really so we have him on a kind of a romantic mountain top <laughs> so he's got kind of the wind in his ears as he's wind in his fur rather as he's kind of staring out across the mountains are they mountain dogs I don't know they look like they should be mountain dogs they're probably sheep dogs or something like that and then all you have to do is kind of paint it in in a kind of a sort of a sandy tan color you can use coloured pencils, watercolours, whatever you like. And there you go, how to draw a chow, real easy, and a very happy Chinese New Year.